Hey, what is up you guys? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And you guys already know what day it is today. It is any Monday. The day where I draw anime for you guys. Either it's fan art or off the top. And today, I'm going to be doing some off the top work. Today, I decided I was going to draw a geisha. Just because I thought it would be different. And I thought it would be fun. And just for a little heads up for you guys. I decided not to draw a full body. But only a half body. For, so, waist and up. But let's jump right into it. So my experience as well drawing this image, it was fun. At first when I was drawing this um, base skeletal form of the image, I thought I'll draw it facing forward, but then I realized that it looked like it was facing backwards. And so I was like, you know what, let's give it a shot and try something a little different since I usually always draw a front facing character and hardly ever a back facing character. And so that's exactly what I did today in this video. And while creating this character, I followed my usual methods of character creation when it comes to the skeletal form. I used the upside down guitar pick, the Dorito, used the tubes, the cylinders. They really do help out a lot if you guys are trying to create any type of character. Really use those objects because it really does help you form your character in the most basic of forms. Now making the head on my character, I decided not to make her too detailed. I decided not to draw a mouth and draw probably the most minimalist of hair and eyes so you guys will see that near the end of the video but I didn't want to go too in-depth with it I wanted her to be more focused on her back and her geisha clothing robe kimono whatever you want to call it blah 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 and as you can see the rough sketch is coming together and again the skeletal form really does help out a lot as you see it is starting to form the body in a very nice way in my opinion but that's pretty much it for the rough sketch, but let's start going into the more finer details. Now, when it came to my process of drawing in the lines, I pretty much took a moment every once in a while to just stop and look at the character to see what I wanted to do with it. I told myself I wanted to leave it black and white, which is what I did on the end product. And I was telling myself, I don't want it to just be plain. So I decided to give her some tattoos along her back and on along her kimono, I decided to give her like some flowers or greenery shrubbery if you will type of designs and just fill them in black and it looked really cool but aside from that let's talk about some of my bad experiences while creating this image mainly the bad experiences for me was making the design patterns for the tattoo on her back and on her kimono and also figuring out how to draw her hands on the kimono and so what I did I just told myself I'm not gonna draw her hands I'm gonna just have them covered up her back's turned, so why not go with the theme of the image? So that's what I did. Now, when I was making this character, I almost lost focus and told myself that I'm about to make this character a hardcore character. And I reminded myself that this is supposed to be a geisha. It's supposed to be like a, a doll style woman in fine clothing and dresses and stuff. And my decision for not giving this character a mouth, it just felt right to me. Uh, that's just the best way how I can describe it. It just felt right. Uh, it looked good to me in my own opinion and I didn't think adding a mouth would be proper because I didn't know what kind of mouth to give her. Should I give her a smiling mouth, a stern mouth, a straight face? I was like, whatever, leave a blank. It looks good by itself. And again, I am back onto the tattooing and the design on her outfit. So again, figuring out the position of certain things was not that difficult, but during this process, I was trying to figure out what I should color it. And during this phase of the whole image, this is where I came up with the idea of just leaving it entirely black and white with a little bit of gradients here and there. And in my opinion, the end product came out very nicely. You guys are going to enjoy it. But these are the parts that I really did struggle on. It took me the most time just because I wasn't sure exactly what to draw because I could have drew a lot of different things. I could have drew like waves, lightning. Uh, usually you see on geisha kimonos, outfits and stuff, uh, those weird hexagon type shapes and stuff that's patterned in with itself and things like that and lots of unique colors. But I was telling myself I just wanted to leave it kind of basic, minimalist at least and just have some fun with it instead of getting way over detailed uh, as example in this image I did not do any shading for this image at all I left it pretty flat but it still looked very nice at the end, end of the day but I want you guys tell me what you guys think about that down below in the comments but we are now coming down to the end of the detail phase as you see the image has came together very nicely from start to finish from the skeletal form to what it is now it comes together very nicely it looks really good but it is about that time I start on the line art phase and in my opinion it came out again very good and 
it looks nice i'm not going to do too much detail like i said earlier keep it very minimalist as possible and just have fun with it but we're now reaching that point where i speed the video up during the line art phase if you guys want me to ever do a tutorial on how to do line art for an image please let me know it's pretty straightforward and very easy to talk about so just you know put a comment down like the video all that stuff just if you guys want me to teach you guys that but you already know who it is it's your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics rate comment subscribe hit that bell icon for all the notifications and things your boy out